this was probably a uh, high level uh, political leader or uh, even celebrity, I guess you could say at the time that I'd ever had the opportunity to spend significant time with. The year was 1996. And as a volunteer with the Kent County Republican Party, then 28 year old Scott Greenlee got the assignment of a lifetime. Drive Republican presidential candidate Bob Dole around West Michigan. It was uh, exciting. It was uh, a little nerve wracking, certainly getting behind the wheel and recognizing that the Senate Majority Leader is in my car, who is going to be the nominee, um, uh, you know, of our party for president. Uh, definitely was driving very slow and, uh, you know, using my blinkers, looking both ways twice, uh, you know, really trying to, uh, to be safe. Was that the most careful you ever uh, driven? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, certainly at the time. In 1996, Bob Dole was about as big of a name in American politics as there was. His life story of surviving a near-deadly explosion while serving in World War II to becoming a stalwart of the Senate was something out of a movie. But those who met him say he never acted like it. But that is not so. Just a very nice guy, a very down-to-earth guy. Um, you know, certainly he was immensely powerful, and uh, yet you wouldn't have known it. Greenlee had the pleasure of chauffeuring Dole along many stops, from Robinette's to the Kent County Republican headquarters. And while he was a Kansan, he was very familiar with West Michigan in part due to his long-standing friendship with former President Gerald Ford. When I look at Bob Dole and, and my interactions with him, I see an awful lot of Gerald Ford there. Again, he was very accommodating. He wasn't one of these people who was very tight on, you know, okay, we've got 10 minutes for photos here and then I've got to move on. He was taking his time and meeting everybody that he could and, and really interacting. Greenlee says on the road, they talked about baseball, politics, and what Dole thought was crucial for the party. He said then, which is still true today, we need more young people to get involved. He, I think he started the day with that and he ended the day with that when we uh, when we got him back to the airport that he just shook my hand and said, uh, you know, he's thankful, he was gracious and uh, said, you know, I want to keep be involved. I want to make sure I see it upcoming events when I'm back here in Michigan. And, and as he remembered Greenlee at those future events, generations will remember Senator Bob Dole for his 79 years of leadership and service. He was such a good guy. And, and that's why you see people from all across the, uh, the political aisles uh, mourning the, the loss of, as I said earlier, a great American today. For Fox 17 News, I'm Aaron Parsegian. And so far, memorial arrangements have not yet been announced, but flags have been lowered at the White House. And Governor Whitmer has ordered U.S. and Michigan flags lowered in honor of Mr. Dole. And she also says they should remain lowered until further notice in honor of the Oxford school shooting victims. Still ahead, many.